All right, guys, today's video is gonna be all about bite windows and the majors and minors, the moon phase, and how that affects muskies. So this past weekend, I had a kayak trip, four kayakers. I did a little mother shipping out of the drift boat, and with four lines in the water, we were able to see very pronounced, very active bite windows, short but very good bite windows. And the interesting thing about this weekend was those bite windows lined up perfectly with the moon phase i.e. the majors and minors of the day. So the first bite window you're gonna see is very first thing in the morning. Right as we started our trip, uh, we got down about half mile down the river and boom, the bite was on, we caught a fish, we had three or four follows, another fish ate, and we just didn't set the hooks on that fish. Um, but it was very pronounced and it was perfectly in the middle of the major for that day. So before I take clients out, I always open my app and check the majors and the minors for the day. I'll look at the time. Usually it's about a two hour window with a peak right in the middle. And I'll try to have my clients in more productive water during those times. Now it doesn't always line up where the bite windows are directly on the majors and minors. Sometimes they're way off, but it's a little extra edge that I can give my clients and try to have them on big fish or really good holes during those times. feet where I'm at and where you're at it's probably a foot two feet it's gonna get a lot deeper once we get down another 50 60 yards but I'll catch them up here every once in a while um, this stretch right here you'll notice you can kind of see where the rock point is coming out down there on the right yeah. any little cubby hole you see like right in front of that rock point is a good spot to target and then from that rock point on it's like eight to ten feet and that's where most of the fish are going to be in this section it's gone it's gone keep them down keep them under the water Did it. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping to see it. I thought I really thought that was a rock when it it just felt like a little. You know how we hit them just straight in. A lot of people say the same thing, man. I, I'm always watching because a lot of people will think they got hung up when they really got a fish. That's a good one too. They're all good, but <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a bad one, even a sword thing. <laughs> this is my idea. <laughs> oh, we had a tag? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna read the data right now. I'm gonna measure here real quick and then we'll get some photos. Y'all wanna take bets on the length? Mm. 36. 36. 
46. Oh, I'm saying like 43 there, Paul. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? I haven't seen it. I'll yeah, hold it up real quick. I'm saying 41 to 42. <laughs> right under 40. Good fish, man. Good work. You're the man. You <laughs> them big baits. I still can't believe. I saw you shaking your head this morning at them big baits. Well, we had them chasing smaller. Like at home, sometimes I think it's because that creek don't have a lot of big baits. You know, fish. Just tossed it out there. Like I said, I thought I hit a rock. And I seen the tail splash, and I knew it was on. My God was excellent. <laughs> he knew what to put on. All right, we're gonna get a release. Right, and there she goes. Healthy. Good work, dude. You're the boss. It had your bait. Did it have your bait? Oh no. All right, guys, if you feel anything at all, set the Hook. I don't care if you set it into a tree or a rock. Set the hook. And we are getting some action though, that's for sure. First hole of the day. What is that, like four fish? Alright guys, we've had four or five fish action from four or five fish in the last 30-40 minutes. Uh, three eats. We landed one of them. Uh, had one swipe and miss and had another one eat. And uh, he thought he was hung up, so he didn't set the hook. He just kind of shook the bait, <clears throat> saw the fish swim off. But I want to show you something here. If y'all have ever seen or heard about musky guys talking about moon phases, majors, minors, uh, well, we are in a serious bite window here. Uh, anytime you get four or five fish to the boat eating uh, within that short period of time, you're in a bite window. And I just wanted to show you the major for today is right now. Okay, so if you guys can see that, that pink line vertically is the current time, and we are at the peak of that major. Um, so that's lining up right with the bite window, and sometimes it lines up, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you get a bite window uh, way away from majors and minors, but today it's lining up, and it's always a good idea to check your majors and minors for the day to see when you're most to see when you're most likely to have a bite window so you can be in a good spot casting good baits and have the best chance of linking up with a fish. The muskie and a lot of other predators are really in tune with the moon and the position of the moon, the phase of the moon, everything. So if you look at your majors and minors for today, we've got a major from 649 to 949 and we're right smack in the middle of it right now. So that's got a lot to do with why we've had so much action in the last hour. And then we look ahead, we've got a minor from 2 to 4 this afternoon, so 3 o'clock would be the peak. And so I'm going to have us in a really good hole around that time, make sure we're good for the, for the minor. Is that where you saw him jump? No. Further down. All right. Whoa. Yeah, I saw it that time. Big fish coming up down there. Gotta follow. Get him, get him, get him. Still on you? Keep going. Oh, 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 oh no.
Get him, get him, get him, get him. She turned off. She's gonna eat, man. Keep after her, she'll eat. Cast back up the direction she took off. Get her, get her, get her. Just keep going, keep after her. She's gonna eat it. Next time you see her, start jerking it. That's what she said. <laughs> Just start jerking it. Get really erratic with it. All right, guys, I'm going to show you this again. <clears throat> Brandon just had a really large fish follow in several times on the figure eight. And uh, it is now 320, and we're in the middle of the minor. I don't know if y'all can see that. So uh, today the moon phases have definitely lined up, and it's not always like this, but it's kind of cool when it does happen because you can predict the next bite. Now the app that I use is called Fishing and Hunting Moon Phases. It's on iOS, I'm not sure about Android, but this app lets me track the majors and minors for the day. It also gives me sunrise, sunset, the zenith of both sun and moon. It gives me barometric pressure, the actual phase of the moon, waning gibbous, and it gives me a, a calculation based off the temperature, pressure, moon phase, all of that. I don't too much care for the calculation, although that is kind of cool. The reason that I do like this app is I can go and check ahead of time. So I can open up my calendar and say, I've got trips this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Friday to see where the moon is. All right, so I've got a, wane, well, a waxing gibbous on Friday and my major time is 10.30 p.m. to 12 a.m. 12 a.m. to 12.47 a.m. and 10.13 a.m. to 1.13 p.m. So that's the uh, the 10.13 a.m. to 1.13 p.m. is going to be the major that we'll be out there for. So I'm going to try to have my clients in a very productive area during that time. This just gives me a little bit of an extra edge. I can get just a little more advantage. That can make the difference in a day between catching no fish and catching a couple fish. Uh, so this is something I've been doing for several years now, and it's a neat little trick. Uh, if you're not a believer in majors and minors, I suggest you start believing because it works. Alright guys, thanks for watching today's video. I hope the information is going to help you in your future musky fishing adventures. Uh, if you don't already have an app on your phone that tracks majors and minors for the day, I suggest you download one. There's a ton of them out there. This one is just the one that I use the most. I've got four or five different apps on my phone that track the majors and minors for the day, but this one just works best for me. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give this video a like if you found it helpful or interesting. Consider subscribing if you have not already and share it with your friends. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks guys and we'll see you on the next one.